to dear students today we will start the photochemistry of msc third sem students in this particular ppt of photochemistry we will discuss the three different topics that is introductory part of photochemistry difference between thermo chemical and photochemical processes and third one law of photochemistry now let's start with the introduction part of the photochemistry according to the introductory part all the different kind of processes which can occur after the interaction of uv visual range of radiation with the matter are called as photolytic processes photolytic processes can be divided into two types known as photophysical process and photochemical process actually photophysical processes are those photolytic processes which does not involve the chemical reaction or which will involve the phase transformation of the matter like solid to liquid liquid to gaseous state without breaking or formation of any type of the chemical bonds while on the other hand photochemical processes are those photolytic processes which involve the chemical reaction so the bond breaking as well as bond formation processes by absorbing the quanta of radiations now we will discuss about the difference between photochemical and thermochemical processes let's start with the photochemical processes and thermochemical processes first difference is that reaction in which molecule of reactant absorb the quanta of radiation and give rise to the product are called as photochemical processes while on the other hand reaction in which molecule of reactant become activated with the absorption of heat and react to give the product will be called as thermochemical processes according to the second difference all the photochemical processes the reactions are not affected by the temperature while on the other hand thermochemical processes or reactions depend on the temperature according to third difference photochemical processes can occur in the presence of light only while on the other hand thermochemical processes can occur in the presence of light as well as in the dark according to the next difference during the photochemical processes number of activated molecules in these reactions depend on the intensity of radiations means with the increase in the intensity of radiation number of activated molecule during the photochemical processes will be increases while on the other hand number of activated molecule in the thermochemical processes depend on the temperature according to next difference there are only two there are two difference law according to which photochemical processes occur these are commonly called as law of photochemistry named as grothes doppler's law and stark einstein law or in other way they are also known as first law of photochemistry and second law of photochemistry while on the other hand there are sorry thermochemical processes does not occur according to any particular law we will move to next part of this ppt <coughs> that is law of photochemistry there are two different law which can govern the photochemical processes or photochemical reactions these are grothes doppler's law and second one is the stark einstein law let's start with the grothes doppler's law 
according to grothas doppler's law when the uv visible light is incident over the sample then some of the radiations are scattered some transmitted and some of the radiations can be absorbed by the sample sample means the molecular <coughs> system but according to grothas doppler's law only those radiations which are absorbed by the sample will be responsible for the for the photochemical processes and those radiations which are scattered or transmitted will never be responsible for photochemical process and this grothas doppler's law is also known as first law of photochemistry then let's move in the stark einstein law which is also known as second law of photochemistry according to this law photochemical excitation of one molecule in the primary step of the photochemical process occur by the absorption of single quanta of radiation that is photochemical excitation of one molecule cannot be possible by absorbing more than one quanta or photochemical excitation of more than one molecule cannot be possible by absorbing single quanta that means one ab one reactant molecule will absorb single quanta to give the one molecule in the excited state during the primary step of the photochemical process thank you